Hey, good evening, friends. Happy Friday to you. I'm really glad to be joining you for this this devotion. Uh, as you show up, I would love to have you say hello. I'd love to have you just comment and uh, let me know that you're here. If you're joining this later, blessings on you uh, whenever you get this. I'm excited about ending this, this three-part uh, little devotion series uh, that I've been doing and it has been called uh, it has been called uh, Sabbath work and examine and so uh, we started with talking about Sabbath about how that is good for us and God has created it for us then we moved on to work uh, talking about how God is wanting to be part of our work and um, the beauty of uh, connecting with God in our work. And today we're going to do something called the daily exam. And I'm going to talk a little bit about what it is, and then we're going to actually go through it together. It's designed to be something that you can do very easily at any time in uh, in your day. So, um, so uh, what I've been doing actually is as well is I've been doing a little a clip of a classic rock band that I think goes along with this. So, um, here we go. We've got Kent showing up. Good to see you. Um, yeah, and good evening, Janet. Um, I'm going to uh, share a. I'm going to share a, a link to a song that I like, but I'm not going to do it right away. I'm actually going to do it in our exam together. So. Just as a little bit of background, the daily examine is a practice that is very, it's quite ancient, and it's simple. It's a, it's a, you'll see it in done in different formats, so this is not the only way to do daily examine. Uh, but generally, they're very similar. The idea is being able to stop in our day and consider some things about God that help connect us. Um, Hi, Jeff. It's good to see you. Uh, the, the idea here is I want to leave us with a tool that you could take into your day anytime. I have a friend, uh, a friend named Dan, who I'm going to actually share a link from uh, near the end here so that you could actually download your own copy of the Daily Exam and do this in your day uh, anytime if you like. Um, he is the one who kind of... Uh, I knew of the, the exam before... Uh, I knew Dan, um, but it was Dan that really kind of introduced me into it, and I got more acquainted with it later. Dan would say that he sometimes, in the hardest times of his life, would do the daily exam, which can take anywhere from 30 seconds to 8 minutes to 10 minutes, whatever. Uh, he would do this multiple times per day, especially as he was feeling stress, and it helped him uh, connect with God. So... Um, Let's just do this together and see whether it's good for you, okay? Uh, I'll pray before we start. God, thank you for this opportunity together. Thank you for your love for us and for your presence. And God, as we go through this exam, I ask that you would meet us, and especially those of us who uh, might benefit from having this in our lives on a consistent basis. God, would you encourage us? And would you help us follow through? Because I know that you have good for, things for us, and you want good things for us, and you want connection with us during our days. Uh, it's in your name, Jesus, that we ask. Amen? All right. It's good to see so many people uh, showing up and commenting. It's really fun. Um, and so uh, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm just going to tell you what each of uh, these steps are. There are going to be five steps to this exam, and I'm going to give us just a little bit of time to wait on the Lord for each of these steps, okay? And before we get going, I want to say Happy Juneteenth to you all. Um, I think a lot of us have been uh, learning about some new things in our current culture, and I was really glad to do some um, reading and, um, you know, connecting uh, with some more knowledge surrounding that. I just wanted to make sure that I mentioned that. I thought it was important. Um, and so, um, as we think about our day, this is how we're going to do this. Okay? Um, the idea is, uh, first of all, the first step isn't something that's very complicated at all. It is become aware of the presence of God. Okay? 
So take a moment. I encourage you to maybe close your eyes if that helps you concentrate uh, and be aware of your surroundings and your insides. Take a few deep breaths. Now, as we do this part, this step one, where we become aware of the presence of God, maybe that's easy for some of us. Over time, that has become easier for me. Uh, however, we might want to do something simple, like you could do a breath prayer. Um, you, could, you could breathe in and say something like, um, God, you are with me. And as you breathe out, say, and I am with you. So if you don't have something that you're concentrating right now, let's just do that together. Don't let me distract you if you're, if you're um, just becoming aware of God's presence in a different way. But uh, God, you are with me. And I am with you. God, you are with me. And I am with you. And you could select a different prayer. You could change it over time. Um, and so in this place of becoming more aware of God's presence, God's love for you, God's desire to be with you, God's appreciation that you're making time to meet with God right now and to grow. Blessings on you in all of those things. I know the Lord is pleased with you right now. So in this place of awareness of God's presence, we move on to step two in the examine, which is to give thanks. Okay? Specifically, I'm going to encourage you to review this day. Give thanks for each detail that you can recall. There might be something big. There might be something very small. I'm going to... Um, for you to listen to later, I'm going to put in a song that is about uh, being thankful. And this is a band that sometimes, uh, the lead singer of this, after writing this song together, they said, after they recorded it, he said, sometimes our songs can be, can be, uh, uh, can be gross and abrasive, and sometimes they can be delicate and beautiful. This would be one that is delicate and beautiful. It's about being thankful. So think about think through your day right now. Let's take let's take a few moments. What are you thankful to God for? And what we're trying to do is say, God, I am thankful for. Not just I am thankful for, but God, I am thankful for X. It might be like today, I'm thinking back. Uh, I got to have coffee and breakfast outside at Cahill Diner with a friend that I hadn't seen in a long, long, long time. And it was wonderful. God, I am thankful for the opportunity to get together with a friend and be outside and eat at a diner that I like, support a business that is still uh, with us, even in these challenging times. It might be something really specific. God, I am thankful for the coffee that I had and how it tasted. What do you want to give God thanks for right now? You might even find yourself in a place where you are aware of a difficulty more than anything else. Now, this is a powerful thing. You could look at this difficulty in your life and you could say, God, thank you for the opportunity to take this difficulty to you. Or God, thank you for the opportunity to trust you in this difficulty. Now today, I'm actually down at the church right now and we're doing preparation to make our live stream work. And that's new for us. And there were all these challenges about it. Um, and I think uh, it's pretty incredible that things have lined up and we've partnered, there's a, there's a, some friends of ours are, we're allowing them to, to use our building uh, a, a different church while they can't meet in their building. And these friends of ours brought exactly the gear that we needed in order to make this thing work. It's incredible. 
the exact piece of gear. It's on back order. You can't get it anywhere. God, I am thankful that you provide. And now we move to step three of the examine. This is become aware of your emotions. So right now, friends, think about how do you feel right now and why? Try to name your emotion and then give it to God. It's, it's, it works much better when we name this. Like if we're able to say, God, I am feeling angry right now and I give that to you. God, what would you say to me? What would you have for me? If you are looking back at your day so far and you realize there are some things uh, that I did not do God's way today, you can give that to God. If there's something that you did as you look back where you did it God's way and you were like, I was connected to the kingdom of God. I was the person that I want to be. Rejoice with that. Give that to God. And now we move to step four, which is to pick one feature of the day and to pray about it. So choose either a joy or a sorrow or something that sticks out to you from this day so far. And I want you to picture turning your heart toward God in prayer, okay? And just take a moment, take a couple moments and pray with boldness and confidence that God hears you right now. And he will respond to you as he desires. And God's responses and timing are good and perfect, okay? So let's think about a feature of the day. And I'm just maybe drawn back to that time with my friend um, having food and saying, um, God, that's a feature that I love so much and I miss that. Um, my prayer is that you will create more opportunities for that with me. That you will create opportunities uh, to have time with friends, uh, even socially distanced, even outside, uh, to have deep conversations, to catch up on life. God, move in my friendships. Grow my friendships. Give me new friendships, new relationships with the people that you would have for me. What is your feature of the day that you want to turn your heart toward God with and just give it to him and pray? And then now we move to step five. This is the last one, okay? Look with hope toward the next hours. Commit the coming hours of your evening to God in trust and hope. I think it's a wonderful thing to pray these things. This is very connected to a lot of the prayers of, uh, for summertime that we've been doing when I've been doing devotions out of um, Phyllis Tickle's uh, Divine Hours Prayers for Summertime, Prayers for Springtime. It's that idea that as we connect with God, we can look forward, we can pray that God would be with us and bless us, speak to us, in, um, and move through us in, in the next hours. So however that works for you, commit your evening to God right now. I'm going to pretty much guarantee you that more often than not, something will happen in a different way, specifically because of your awareness. And maybe your prayer, as God hears it, will do something differently with your evening than what he, we would have uh, been able to do otherwise. So God, we commit these next hours to you. We come to you in hope. We come to you, we wouldn't come to you at all if we didn't have hope that you cared and that you could do something, God. And we come to you in trust, God, in the places where we have anxiety. Would you, um, would you meet us? 
Would you help us to trust you and feel like we're walking with you, that you, Holy Spirit, are alive within us, that you might have plans for this very evening that you want us to be a part of. We commit this evening to you, God. Amen. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to give you a link. You might not care about the Led Zeppelin link so much, but the one that I want you to pay attention to is. Oh, and thank you for typing all of those. I'm going to give you, um, I'm going to give you a link right here, and this is my friend Dan Wilt, and he has a lot of. Um, He's got a lot of um, great resources. Um, he has a lot of awesome things to say uh, about the examine, and uh, you might really enjoy reading about it. The thing that I really love about this particular link is if you follow it, um, there is a place where if you're on your phone, you can click it, and you can actually save a copy of this examine to your phone. That's um, here. That's what I'm, I don't know if you can see this. That's what I was kind of using today. It has been a big blessing to me to, you know, in, like maybe right next to my Facebook, I've got the daily exam and that I could click it and I could go through those five steps. Over time, if this really connects with you and is a blessing to you, uh, I welcome you to uh, memorize, uh, memorize those steps so that you don't need anything with you. You could just stop. You could take a walk around. You could sit. You could go through these five steps, and I think that it would really bless your life and deepen your relationship with God. And that's what we always want for you, especially in these devotions. So, friends, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening, especially as we're committing ourselves uh, in these hours to God. And I am very much looking forward to uh, being together as we're able on Sunday morning or um, doing live stream if you're staying at home. Just know that there's information on our uh, on our page here uh, about how you can connect with us this weekend. Uh, I'm looking forward to connecting with you in whatever way works for you uh, this Sunday. Uh, love your friends. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Thanks for making time. I'll see ya. Bye bye.